Well, Iron Man about to step out of comics and movies and onto the battlefield. Turns out our military is close to unveiling a real-life Iron Man suit. A Navy admiral confirming several prototypes are currently in works and testing could soon begin. Trace, do you want to try one of these on? I would, but they're kind of heavy, you know, I don't know if I can carry that weight. You know, the official name, Jenna, is called Tactical Assault Light Operations Suit, or TALUS, and the reason they call it Iron Man is, take a look for yourself, is because it looks a lot like the Marvel Comics hero outfit, as you can see on the right-hand side. And you talk about a team effort in this thing, 56 corporations, 16 government agencies, 13 universities, and 10 national labs are involved in development. The initial prototypes are meant mainly for defense using liquid armor that shifts from from liquid to solid in like milliseconds, which means that warriors would be impervious to gunfire and shrapnel. Now, the suits will also have their own air and oxygen and heat supply. And if for some reason a soldier is wounded, the suit may stop the bleeding by releasing a medical foam and then would monitor the soldier's vital signs. Now, the Iron Man suits will likely be used at first by elite units. We're talking Navy SEALs and Army Special Forces. But General Bob Scales says these suits are way overdue. Listen. This is very, very basic cutting edge technology that could be brought online within two to three years. It's all a question of will and money and a change in priority away from big ticket systems into individual soldiers, close combat soldiers, the guys that need it most. Keep in mind, at some point, these suits may have offensive capabilities, but warriors, of course, have to remain nimble, so weight is always a factor. And the more features you have, the more batteries you have to have, and that gets awfully heavy. By the way, the prototypes should be arriving sometime in June, Jenna, and they say by 2018, these things could be fully operational in the military. Pretty cool. I love it. Very cool. Trey, thank you.